Doesn't matter if you have the fastest keyboard or fastest mouse on the market, everybody has keyboard, mouse, and controller lag by default. And I'm gonna show you guys five tips that are gonna reduce input lag and give you the fastest response time. I'm fast as fuck, boy. But don't worry, because by the end of this video, these tips will save you from any lag that you're having on your keyboard, mouse, or controller. It'll make it feel like lightning quick. Because if you were just like me, you were getting clipped on by Mr. Krabs. But first, if you guys aren't aware of Noping, it's the fastest gaming VPN service on the market, and you guys can get a free trial by clicking the link down in the description below. So if you guys get a lot of ping spikes or lag spikes, definitely try out Noping. It may improve your connection and sign up to completely free for the first seven days. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys is the best settings. We're gonna take a look at that really quick here. First off, you do wanna be on full screen. Full screen, 100% of the time, gives you more FPS and improves your input lag. Um, so you don't get any delay really when you're using full screen. There's a few operating system things I'm gonna show you that will definitely um, speed up your faster response with your keyboard and mouse. Second thing you wanna do is come down here to where it says textures. And if you guys are on low, try medium if you have a decent GPU. If you have anything like a GTX 650, 1650 or higher, um, definitely try medium or higher and sometimes that can boost your FPS because what it does is it focuses more on your GPU and it's less intensive on your CPU. One of the very next things you want to do is make sure you're on performance mode. Performance mode still is the very best rendering mode when it comes to reducing input delay, input lag, and it also gives you uh, more FPS. But one thing I do want to share with you for this video, I recommend switching to DirectX 11 for one step, then we're gonna switch back to performance mode. And I'll show you what that step is. So you will have to restart actually to get DirectX 11 to kick in. But after you restart and you're on DirectX 11, you'll notice you have a lot more options here. Well, what's funny that um, Epic Games did that a lot of people didn't even know about till recently, whenever you're on DirectX 11, if you switch back to performance mode, all those settings save on DirectX 11. And I'll show you one um, setting in particular we want to turn on, which helps a lot. First off, if you have more than four cores, four cores or more um, on your CPU, then you want to allow multi-threaded rendering. This boosts your FPS, actually, when you have this on. Um, the next thing we want to turn on is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. And we want this on plus boost. What this does is it reduces system latency, which is input delay. So you'll get less lag um, from your keyboard and mouse and in game it'll just feel way smoother when you switch back to performance mode. So absolutely do this if you're not using this tip right now. Switch back to performance mode because it still does make your game run a whole lot smoother. So we just switched back to performance mode and as you can see those settings actually disappeared but they are still in effect so don't worry. So I'm actually gonna share with you one of the fastest things that can speed up your response time. It's something I've done for over a year now and it's helped a lot when I had input lag. So you wanna open up your file explorer and we're gonna find the Fortnite game. Um, there's actually a very specific directory on where that's located. So follow along, select the drive that you have Fortnite installed on, go to program files, and we're gonna find Epic Games. And then we're gonna double click on Fortnite and then double click on Fortnite game then binaries, then Win64, and scroll down until you see Fortnite Client Win64 shipping. Not the BE or the EAC shipping files, but the regular shipping one. And what you're gonna do is right click on it, and we're gonna go to properties. So there's actually a, um, there's something that adds a bit of delay input lag when you're playing Fortnite that you can actually fix right now. So the first thing you're gonna do is select compatibility. It's this setting here. You're on general, you're gonna to go to compatibility. On that tab, you'll notice that there's a bunch of these settings down here. The only one we wanna tick is disable full screen optimizations. And the reason this is the best option is because when there's full screen optimizations, Windows 10 and Windows 11 actually adds input delay on it. I don't know why that is. I think it has something to do with VSync, um, if I remembered correctly when I researched it. And then there's one more setting we wanna change in here. We're gonna click on change high DPI settings. And you'll see this option down here, high DPI scaling override, override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by application. So we wanna select that um, and just check that. 
and then hit OK and uh, apply and then OK again. And then you're good to go. That setting is complete and that actually really speeds up your, your response time with your keyboard and mouse and controller. So also another really good tip that I can't recommend enough is closing out, first off, close out any background running applications. So one thing I really recommend for everybody to do with their Epic Games Launcher, um, this will help with your FPS and input lag. Uh, click on your settings on um, Epic Games Launcher. You'll see all these options here. One option that you wanna remove is minimize to system tray. And the reason for this, when you're playing Fortnite, you actually don't need Epic Games Launcher open. It just wastes resources. So once you do that, then when you close out of Epic Games Launcher, it fully closes Fortnite for you. So one of the things that Windows 10 and Windows 11 does is it will automatically throttle um, input, um, meaning like if there's certain clicks or certain buttons are pressed, um, sometimes Windows will actually delay them automatically, and that is called Precision High Event Timer, something like that. I'm gonna show you how to disable that. So all you're gonna do is open Device Manager, and you can get there by just typing it in on your Windows search. Once you have the device manager open, look for system devices, it's second from the bottom for me. And then in here, you'll look for high precision event timer. And it's really easy, all you're gonna do is right click it, click on properties, go to driver tab, and then just click disable. Uh, all this does is it just stops it really from functioning and we want that to be turned off because it'll actually make it a little smoother and faster um, for your, your response when you're pressing keys and clicking and or using a controller, honestly, any system device is plugged in. And then just click yes, you want to disable it and that's it. And then I'm just going to give you a bunch of quick settings that you'll want to turn on. These have been talked about numerous times, but make sure game mode is turned on. If you don't have that turned on, what are you doing? Uh, also go to graphic settings. So you open up graphic settings. If you have um, this screen here, basically you'll want to set Fortnite for high performance. Um, you can click on options and choose high performance. If you don't have Fortnite in here, um, watch the last video I made for how to boost FPS. I show you exactly how to do that. Okay, and for the last thing that helps a ton is power settings. So uh, what you do is you edit your power plan so you just type in power and you get this power plan option here. Click change advanced power settings. And then make sure that all of these are basically on maximum performance. Mine's on maximum power savings. I'm wild. Maximum performance is what we need. And also do that for wireless adapter. Make sure that's on maximum performance as well. If you don't have those on maximum performance, you crazy. Also, I have my own power plan here. <laughs> uh, so I just decided to make my own. And just click apply and okay. And trust me, man, that'll help a lot when it comes to input lag and FPS. Do me a favor, guys. Let me know on this video down in the comment section below, what was the change in your guys' input delay? Did you guys have a much smoother experience after you've done all these settings? Let me know, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out for now.